Hello, and welcome to my channel. In this video segment, I'm gonna show you how to replace the DEL filter and the Hino. So let's get started. Well, of course, you know, the DEL filter is gonna be on the passenger side of the vehicle, right below the steps. And what we're gonna do, we just take the cap off. So the two I'm gonna be using, you can use either pliers or you can use needle nose pliers. It's totally up to you. These are the pliers that I like to use. They used to belong to my granddaddy, rest his soul. And they are perfect for actually removing, for me to get this filter in and out. So what you wanna do, we're going to there's a clip here and a clip here. And I'm just going to squeeze them together and pull the filter right on out. High nose are great vehicles. And this, this is about the best filter that I have seen to actually try to get out. I wish they all were this easy. Just have to take your time and get the clips just right and work it right on out. There we go. There we go. Uh-oh. That's not right. I wanna show you why that is not right. Sorry, and I apologize for the light been in a way just trying to see look down in the hole because part of this filter is missing and I'm not sure if it's in the tank or if it was ever there this is the part number that you need and if you call your Hino dealer just give him this part number now we're working on a 2017 uh, Hino and this is the filter that we pulled out and I want to show you what I'm concerned about. Get this open. See? This is what's missing. So it's possible it's possible that it could be inside the tank. Uh, and the manufacturer said you're supposed to check or replace this filter every 150,000 miles or 240K. So we're a little bit over 100. 50,000 miles. But gee, may need to check it more often. I'm thinking if it was on there, the reason why it's not on there now because maybe the nozzle, when the driver stuck the nozzle inside the filter, that it actually uh, broke off the, the strainer. All right, we're going to put this back in. We're gonna put the filter back in the same way we took it out. Just stick it down inside the hole. Take your fingers and push. That's it. Just make sure it can't come back up. That's all there is to it. Just wanna put our cap back on. Guys, I believe in going by the driver and only a manual. And when I look at it, it actually reads every 150,000 miles or 240K. Now, it has an R code here. You look up here at the R code, it says replace or change. From what we have seen, I would definitely recommend to inspect or change that DEF filter more often. Listen, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe.
If you have not, just hit that little red button, become a subscriber right away. Take care. God bless.